asking a legitimate question is not being rude. But your question is, did Allah die? I really don't care because I'm not Muslim. But according to Islam, no, Allah did not die. Allah cannot die. Allah is the equivalency of your God, Yahweh El. So Allah cannot die. Which brings the point. How can God ever die if you believe in God? If you believe in the Trinity and Jesus was God, then how can God ever die? You see, this is the mind game that's being played here. And many Christians like to utilize this and say that, well, we have the only one, the only Savior that died for our sins. But did he really die? And why does that really matter? I'm going to first tell you why that matters. You see, it matters because even though Christians like to say that I cannot think about God in human terms, this type of mindset is taking your God and putting your God into human terms. You see, when I was in the Marine Corps and those Marines who died fighting for um, the Constitution, for Americans to have the freedom to which they have, that is considered to be the ultimate sacrifice. And in almost every country, when a military person dies for their country's defense, it is considered to be an act of bravery. And the reason why is because once that person dies, as far as we know, their existence on this planet has ceased to exist. We have absolutely no idea what happens after you die. No one can prove one way or the other. Now, when a man or a woman dies because they save their family, whether it's some animal attack or some person is attacking them and they die, we see that as an act of bravery. Why? Because that person is never coming back to the existence to which we know of. So as far as we're concerned, that person is gone and they made an ultimate sacrifice. Let's look at the God Jesus case. The God Jesus case, which says that Jesus and, God, and this God is one and the same, that Jesus was there in the beginning with God, that he is the word that brought forth creation. This Jesus character supposedly suffered and died so that man can be forgiven of sin at least Allah just says if you do what I ask you to do I will just forgive you there is no need for a human sacrifice but the Jesus God supposedly died on the cross and then remained in the grave for three days and then after being in the grave for three days he rose and supposedly ascended to heaven so your God never died. He took a weekend off. A portion of him took a weekend off to just remain inert. Although some people teach, which comes from different scriptures that aren't included in your Bible. But some people teach that he went down into hell, into Hades, and preached to the people down in Hades so that they can have revelation of who he is. And then they can ascend to heaven one day. But that's just as believable as the rest of the Bible, which is not. But what you're saying here is that this deity, this Jesus, he never sacrificed anything. What did he sacrifice? His human shell? He had already been God. He was still God, even though he kind of forgot that he was God because he started praying to God and he asked God questions like, why have you forsaken me? But if he's omniscient, then he already knows. He asked, could this cup be passed from me? Why would he ask if this cup be passed from me if he was already God and he already know what the plan is? Why would he ask for it to be passed from him? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm going here? It's, he's acting more human and not like God. And some will say, well, he gave up his Godhood. Here's the thing about being God. God can never be less than himself, nor can he ever be more than himself. In order for a being to be God, it has to be God at all times. So at no point could Jesus, if he was God, have not ever known that he was not God and could never have shucked off his God persona in order to facilitate this so-called sacrifice. But was it a real sacrifice? He took a three day vacation. And it wasn't even really three days. It was more like two, two and a half. But we put this emphasis on that because we bring it down to the level of man. If I die protecting my children, it's a sacrifice. If a God dies, but then just gets up, it's not really a sacrifice now, is it? So I want you to contemplate that for a while. Subscribe to the channel. And always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.